Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo and you're watching Tozawa Tanks. Now in some recent videos, I talked about how to keep African cichlids in various tank sizes. We started off with some of the smaller tanks and we went up to a 40 breeder. Now I'm gonna talk about some larger tanks and these are tanks that a lot of you probably have already because they are very common sizes. And we're gonna talk about some common fish that a lot of you are keeping or want to keep and are readily available. So today we're going to talk about the 55 gallon aquarium and the 75 gallon aquarium and which one is best for keeping African cichlids. Now the 55 gallon and the 75 gallon are pretty similar in size, they're both 4 feet long, similar in height, but they're, the biggest difference between the two is how much space there is between the front and the back panel where the 75 gallon is about 5 or so inches deeper, so depth from front to back, there's more space than there is in the 55. So that means that it obviously holds more water, but there's also more swimming area for the fish to swim around in and to navigate, and that's gonna make a difference in the type of fish that we choose. So some of the most common African cichlids are mbuna and peacocks. These are both fish from Lake Malawi, and they do have some different characteristics that are gonna make them more suitable for one tank versus the other. Now there will be some people that will say you cannot keep African cichlids in a tank smaller than 75 gallons or smaller than 125 gallons and that just simply isn't true. Now ideally if you had the space, if you had the resources, it would be better to have a much larger aquarium. So having 125 gallons or larger would be ideal but for many fish keepers that's just not a reality. So if you do want to keep African cichlids and let's say that you have a 55 gallon aquarium, my recommendation would be to stick with Mbuna. The reason why I would choose to have Mbuna rather than peacocks in a 55 gallon is due to the behavior of Mbuna. Mbuna like to kind of swim in and around decoration, so having lots of rock work, caves, things like that, whether they're real rock, pieces of dry coral, man-made rocks, whatever it may be, they do well with places to hide and kind of carve out their own little territory. And they'll do a lot of swimming up and down and around decorations where peacocks are more open water swimmers. So with peacocks, you wanna have kind of open space, not a lot of decorations in there because they are not really suited to kind of dart in and out of things. They kind of like to swim back and forth and they need more open space. Now because the Mbuna are more adept at swimming in smaller spaces, kind of swimming up and down and around, they would be better suited for a 55 gallon aquarium where the peacocks would be better in a 75. Now we're not gonna talk specifics as far as Mbuna species. There are a lot of different types of Mbuna out there that you can choose from and uh, they do range in uh, aggression level, so something that can be very docile like a yellow lab or an ACI to something that could be hyper aggressive like an erratus, bumblebee, etc. that are, you know, kind of all over the spectrum as far as what you can keep. So definitely do your research as far as what type of Mbuna you want to keep in your 55 and, you know, obviously you want to look at what kind of colors you want to have, but also you need to decide can you handle the aggression? Do you want to have more of a peaceful tank? Do you like having aggressive fish? How many fish do you plan on keeping in the aquarium? Are you going to be able to overstock? Are you not going to be able to overstock, which could uh, you know, change uh, the type of fish that you keep due to the aggression levels? And uh, just do your research there. Um, I've made videos about this in the past. There's a lot of other good videos out there. When it comes to peacocks, it's really just about color variation. So when you go out and decide that you want to have a Lanakara, which are peacocks, you have a plethora of choices when it comes to colors from blues to blues and yellows, reds, oranges, and all kinds of blends, OBs. So there are a lot of beautiful colored peacock fish, um, but they would be better suited again for that 75 gallon aquarium. Now again, some of you might say that you shouldn't keep Mbuna in anything smaller than 75 gallons. And I would disagree. Again, ideally, yes, you would want to have that larger aquarium, but they can be kept in 55 gallon aquariums very well. I've done it in the past. I've even kept them in 40 breeders at times. So if you do have good fish husbandry, meaning that you're on top of water changes, checking you know the water parameters, ensuring that the water quality is good, up on your maintenance, etc., there should be no problem in keeping a Buna in a 55 gallon. And the same thing for peacocks. Again, if you're you know, good at water changes and you can handle aggression and you can deal with um, overstocking if that's what you need to do, 
then you would be fine with keeping Peacocks in a 75. Now I happen to keep both Mbuna and Peacocks, and I have them in various size aquariums. The tank directly behind me is a Peacock tank that's 90 gallons, it's five feet long. It's a little bit different of a shape. The tank to my left here, which is your right, is a 75 gallon aquarium, and this has some dwarf Mbuna. And what you guys can't see, but behind you, over to, uh, in, the, in the corner over there, I have another 75 gallon aquarium with Mbuna. And then upstairs, I have another 75 gallon aquarium with peacocks. So I have a lot of experience with keeping African cichlids in various size tanks going all the way back to probably 2000 and I think 2003 is probably when I started getting into African cichlids and I had them in a 55 gallon aquarium back then and uh, they did very well as well. So a little bit of a shorter video today. Uh, I just wanted to kind of generalize when we're talking about 55 gallons and we're talking about 75 gallons and what fish are ideal. Now you may notice that I didn't mention haplochromus haps as we call them and that's because for the most part haps are larger meaning that those fish should be kept in larger aquariums which we will talk about in a future video but there are some haps that could be in a 75 gallon if they are the smaller haps that are not the predatory haps so if you had something like an autopharynx lithobase which is a z-rock beautiful blue fish with a yellow blaze on its forehead that would do well in a 75 gallon aquarium because it very much looks like a peacock, similar size, similar characteristics, and the same with something like an electric blue, etc. Um, those haps are also smaller, don't get much larger than a regular peacock, similar behavior, and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.